So I'm getting dinner going in the crock pot tonight. I've got two decent sized chicken breasts here. I'm gonna take and put those in. I'm making the Parmesan wing, um, the Parmesan garlic um, wing sauce pasta. I've made a version of this before think like the original one come from um buffalo wild wings but this one's really good this walmart brand um one is um, really good so you're just gonna go in with the whole bottle and then you fill up the bottle with heavy cream, like three fourths of the way up. And then we'll give it a shake and it'll rinse out. What's left in there. I'm sure you could use milk, but of course, if you use heavy cream, it's gonna be thicker and creamier. Parmesan cheese and then you're also going to add on a block of cream cheese some people cut it up I don't I just sit it on top and as it cooks it will warm through and then you can just mix it in once the chicken's done so I just sit mine on top then we're going to put the lid on it and cook it on low for about six hours and it'll be ready and then we'll come back we'll shred the chicken and then we'll cook us up some pasta add the pasta in there and then i bought some garlic breadsticks to serve with it Now that the chicken is all cooked, we're just going to shred it up and uh, kind of mix together everything. As you've seen, I already cooked the pasta and then we will get it added in next. I like to add a little bit of pasta water just to help kind of bring the sauce together. And I ended up adding the whole box of pasta to this. That is 16 ounces. I just add a little bit, stir it, add a little bit, because you never know if it's gonna take the whole box or not. And I would rather it be nice and creamy and have less noodles than be super dry. And y'all, it turned out delicious. Highly recommend this recipe. And here it is after it is all done we just serve it with a little extra parm on top and some garlic bread y'all this is so good i had like i said i've made a version of this but it has been a while this one had a little bit of kick to it winston didn't like it because it was spicy but everybody else loved it and we will definitely be making it again okay also excuse the mess I'm putting up the under the cabinet lights. I'm still trying to get stuff put away in the kitchen, but it is snowing. Look at this. It is coming down. Hold on, let me take you up here where the screen's not. It is coming down. You can't even see the road or nothing. So I pulled out this chili from the freezer, thawed it out. So we're just gonna dump it in. I will share 
um, I will have the link to this recipe in the description box below. I will share the video link where you can watch me make it, and I will have the recipe linked in the description box. But this is one of the perfect ways to do freezer meals. Just do make you some soups, divide them up into freezer or into bags, freeze them, and then you can thaw them out and drop, drop them in your crock pot for quick and easy crock pot meals. Love it. I do plan on doing um, some more crock pot soups because this is the last bag that we have. So hopefully next month I'll be able to do a big freezer meal video for you guys. So y'all stay tuned for that. But for today, this is one of those easy dump and go crock pot meals. So let's get it in here and we'll just set it and forget it. all in here so I'm just gonna put it on warm and I'm just or not warm low and I'm just gonna let it heat up throughout the day and then we'll have a nice warm ice is from the bag it's on there <laughs> um, we will have a nice warm hot meal for dinner tonight when Luke gets home and um, with all this snow this is the perfect perfect way to do some easy crock pot meals Make them ahead of time and then just dump them in and forget about them. So we'll see y'all back later tonight when I make up my bowl. We just served it with some sour cream and some cheese on top. I personally like peanut butter in my chili just a little bit. I don't know. It's just so good. I've always done it. Um, this was Luke and Grover's bowl. I didn't share my bowl because not a lot of people like peanut butter in their chili. And it just doesn't look very appetizing. But we served it with some grilled cheese. And it was super easy. Crock pot recipe and delicious. We are going to make my three packet pork roast recipe. I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys so y'all can get all the measurements and all that stuff. Now for mine today, I'm going to double it. We've got more people to feed now. So I am doubling this. So I've got two roasts here that are about two and a half pounds a piece. So I will be doubling all the ingredients. Well, the, I will be doubling the dry ingredients. The only thing I don't double when I do this recipe is the butter because it calls for one stick of butter. And I think one stick of butter is enough regardless if you do one roast or if you do two roasts. So I've got my roast in here. And then all I'm gonna do is sprinkle all my pockets on top. You'll need dry ranch. Au jus. Oh. 
made a mess. And then you'll need some water. And I use unsalted butter because you're getting a lot of salt from the seasoning packets. So I use unsalted butter and I'm just gonna put it right in there. And that's it. We're just gonna cover it and we're gonna let it cook for a good eight to 10 hours. You wanna make sure that it's nice and falling apart, juicy and tender. I'm gonna serve this with some of my crock pot mashed potatoes but the mashed potatoes only take about four hours to cook in the crock pot, so I'll come back about lunchtime and put those on. I have peeled, washed, and cut up my potatoes. I have them in here. I pour the water everywhere. I'm just gonna cover them with water. Just however much it takes to cover your potatoes. Of course, just it's gonna depend on how many people you're feeding, depending on how many potatoes you're gonna do. I've got, I think, eight potatoes in here this time and there's four people eating, so. And then you're just gonna season it up. I'm gonna add in some chicken bouillon. If you keep chicken broth on hand, you can use chicken broth in here instead of the water and bouillon, but I keep the bouillon on hand. Got some garlic powder. Just season with your heart. I'll have this recipe linked down below for you guys. Onion powder. And then some pepper. And some salt. Give everything a good mix, and then you're just gonna cook these on high for about four hours, just till they're fork tender and ready to mash. And we'll come back tonight and I'll show you how to um, do the rest. I've shared these several times on my channel. These are my all-time favorite crock pot side dish. All-time favorite. Now that the potatoes are all done, we are going to drain them. And then we're gonna turn the crock pot on warm and we're gonna add in our milk. You can use regular milk, you can use cream, you can use evaporated milk. This time I used evaporated milk. You're gonna add the evaporated milk in and then you're also gonna add in a little bit of butter. Put the lid on it and let it sit for a little bit and let that evaporated milk kind of warm up a little bit. If you warm up your cream or dairy, whatever you use, when you're making mashed potatoes, it makes them really creamy and delicious. Then you're just going to add in your potatoes and get them all mashed up. You can, of course, adjust the seasonings as needed. I normally always have to add a little bit of extra salt and a little bit of extra pepper. And don't forget your butter on top. Here is the roast when it is all done. Y'all, it smelled so good. This is one of my favorite ways to have roast. And as you see here, it is just falling apart tender. 
If your roast doesn't fall apart, then it just needs a few more hours to cook. That's why I always recommend eight to 10 hours. The longer, the better for roast because it just falls apart tender and it is delicious. So we've got the mashed potatoes, the roast, and then I cooked up a couple cans of peas and some crescents. And that is it y'all. I really hope you enjoyed these super easy crock pot recipes. I'm so happy to be back in the kitchen and bringing in some more content for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.